In this video trailer, we're going to look at divergence using the stochastic oscillator on a short term time frame chart. One for you day traders, stay tuned. Hey traders and investors, this one for the traders really, but a very warm welcome to if you are new to the channel. Hi there and welcome and consider subscribing for more videos from me. We talk about charts, we talk about strategies, we talk about psychology, all the good stuff to make you a better trader. If you're a subscriber, thank you for support, much appreciated. Okay, let's get down to it. So divergence is when we have a new high in price but we don't get a new high in a momentum oscillator in this instance i have used a stochastic which is a good oscillator you could use the rsi cci anything kind of like that anything that's measuring kind of momentum is where you get the best divergences so the theory behind it is this if price is pushing high you get a high an overbought condition normally in your oscillator if you're talking about stochastic if price pushes on again but not quite with as much strength and momentum and the rate of change isn't quite as aggressive and you don't get a new high in the oscillator as well you get what's called a divergence which may indicate the market has run out of puff may indicate it's time to look for a counter trend play let's have a look at something here now i've got apple for you here i've just given the apple stock a little bit of love it could be anything it could be a commodity could be a currency fx pair index whatever it doesn't matter it's the same kind of principle okay so let's get a drawing pen out here we have a nice big uptrend from apple one from 185 all the way up to 190 brand in mind this is a five minute chart it works just as well on a daily except there are less occurrences of it obviously it works nicely on a five one's a little bit too low three's a little bit too low five's really about the lowest you want to go with it but it's good for kind of intraday picking that sweet spot maybe thinking that hey that the, the market's run its course used in conjunction with other kind of signals as well so Apple kind of pushes to highs here. We get a nice high reading uh, with a, um, uh, a stochastic. Let me remove that for a second. This is the one we're actually looking at. We get a high reading here, and there's a cluster of it here, but let's use this high here. High reading here. There's a high of the oscillator. We get a new high in price. However, we get a, a lower high in the actual oscillator reading, which is a divergence. In other words, price is high but the momentum oscillator, the stochastic, is not indicating as much strength. So we start to add a little bit of extra thought to maybe this is run out of puff. And we look at the evidence, we say, okay, we had a three day run. We have kind of gapped up, we filled the gap, we pushed up, we've moved quite a lot. We start to gather evidence to suggest that maybe this thing's gonna roll over. And then when we get that divergence, i.e. price doesn't, uh, the oscillator does not go to a new high, but price does, Oh, let me draw the draw it here. We have, uh, switch us over to a. Uh, so you get that kind of scenario where you get price is doing is doing the uptrend and the oscillator is doing the downtrend. That's when we can say okay. And I wouldn't recommend trading this on its own, guys. Some people look at divergence and they want to trade it on its own. I don't think it's that good on its own. I think it's the kind of thing where if you're already thinking about taking a counter trend play. This is the kind of thing where you go, ha, you know what? I'm ready for the counter trend play. Things are lining up nicely for me. Maybe we're coming up to some resistance level. Maybe we overstretch a little bit. Let me use this divergence method to give me that final little bit of, little bit of a subtle push to say, you know what? I can take the trade. And the beautiful thing about this is you can frame the trade accordingly. So as you make the new high, we don't push through. We come back off it. Immediately, you've got an obvious stop point. It's going to be above that high level. So you start to roll over and you can see uh, in this example you know it, it, it was it really we rolled over we rolled back over and it, it gave up five dollars in the next two or three days so does that happen all the time no it doesn't i wanted just to illustrate this for you um on the screen so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so uh, just a summary divergence is the distant difference between the higher high we have on price but we don't get a higher high with the oscillator when we get that recommend not using it on its own recommend putting it with other things like multiple day move like something else to indicate that this may well be the end of the move and not just using it on its own because listen guys as with a lot of oscillators and a lot of indicators out there if you just start looking for that pattern you're going to see it everywhere you can probably see it somewhere or you could scroll through and see it on the chart in the middle of a trend and say well that's a divergence yes it is but the key to anything in trading is to use it in the right conditions. Same with candlestick pattern, same with any pattern. We want to use it when the conditions are right. So when we think we've got other evidence to suggest that the trend is ending, 
now we can look for that divergence the oscillator not making that new high price making the new high saying okay now we've got a level to work off we can start to maybe initiate some shorts around that point we can frame the trade have our stop above it we can start to play the game a little bit start to use that as a level to make it a bit more interested or even take out our longs let's say we've been long we've been holding it we think we want to come out, wait for that divergence to happen, and then pull the trigger on the exit, or then start to scale out, or then trail the stop, whatever it may be. So a really useful tool to have in your trader's toolbox, uh, the divergence. As I say, wouldn't recommend using it on its own, but handy to have in conjunction with all the other things that we've got as traders to add that, stack that layer of edge in our favor. All right, guys, take care. Whatever you do, keep the risk managed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.